purposes of this little tutorial, uh, I've only selected about eight images um, just so everything will go fast. Um, first thing you do is download your, your cards to your desktop or whatever folder you want. Uh, I have uh, eight images right here under Cabo Wedding. Um, this is a straight download. These are my raw files from my uh, compact, fa compact flash card. Um, uh, first thing you want to do is open Lightroom after you get those downloaded. Uh, it asks if you want to do a backup. You can set this in your preferences so it, it'll quit reminding you. Uh, I'm just going to do skip now. Opening up Lightroom here. Uh, let's see. First thing you want to do when you're making a new catalog uh, for a new wedding, you just go to File, New Catalog. Um, we're going to expand this menu here to give you more options. Um, and for the purposes of this uh, tutorial, I also made a folder on the desktop uh, for weddings. Um, this is how I store my files, my, my weddings and clients' information, things like that. Um, so in a folder for weddings, you're just going to open that to make sure it's selected. And then we're just going to name this. Uh, this is Cabo Wedding. Um, you can call it, you know, the client's first, last names, whatever. So give it a name, save as, and then hit create. So it's making your, your Cabo Wedding catalog. So now you have a fresh catalog. It's empty. Uh, nothing here. Uh, all right. Uh, tab will bring out these two side windows, uh, one on the left here and one on the right. Also, to get rid of those, you just hit tab again to hide them. Uh, you can also hit the arrows on the far right and far left to hide one or the other. Now, to import your images into Lightroom uh, for your new wedding, just go down to Import. And then on the desktop right here where I've uh, downloaded the files from my card, Cabo Wedding, just double click on that. Here's the eight images from my card. So I'll just hit choose. It's just going to pull everything from that folder. Uh, it's going to ask you a series of questions here. Um, as far as the files are concerned, add files to a catalog without moving, copy to a new location, and add to the catalog, move photos, copy photos as digital negatives. Um, now I personally use this option here, copy photos as, as digital negatives. It converts your CR2 format to a DNG format and stores all the XMP data and makes the files a lot smaller. Um, you can research that or ask me questions later if you want more information. Uh, right now, if you're going to be working with your CR2 files, um, you can use one of these options here. Either want to copy photos to a new location or move the photos. Uh, if you want to not have to worry about a backup um, just go ahead and for now we'll just do move photos uh, it's going to let's see you, then you choose your catalog right now it's taking it to Henry McCoy slash pictures we don't want to go there we want to specify the catalog that we made so back on the desktop where I have weddings double click that here's my new catalog Cabo Wedding here are the Lightroom files now here make a new folder we'll call this raw files create so it's we have a new folder here nothing in it hit choose and right now we're just going to go into one folder you can sort it by date time uh, by original folders so if you downloaded six cards and you want to keep them all separate then just tell it to sort by original folders uh, right now they have eight images so I'm just going to do into one folder. Um, this is also how I sort my files. I just lump them all into one folder rather than keeping the cards separate. We don't need to put it in a subfolder and always leave this checked um, just so I don't re-import the same files over and over. Template file name is just fine. It gives you a preview of what it's going to look like here. Uh, develop settings. Once you get these set up, um, if you have a batch setting that you want to do to all photos, like whether it be 
enhanced contrast across the entire board, reduced noise, anything like that. You can set those up in your presets and then you can choose it and it'll automatically run that action on all of your files so you don't have to later. Uh, metadata keywords, I'll just leave blank for now. Initial previews. Um, I typically do one to one and what this does is it's going to render a full 100% preview um, so it's not rendering that later while you're trying to work on them. Uh, if you can, set this to import, you know, pull in, you know, 1500 files from a wedding, set it to one-to-one -one previews, walk away, go do something else. And then click import. So now you can see up here in the top left, it's rendering the one-to-one uh, -one previews, one of eight. You can cancel this if you want, but just let it go ahead and run and uh, I'll show you what happens after this. And actually while, we're, while it's doing that, on the left here you can see on my Macintosh hard drive, all these images are stored in a folder called raw files. Now to view more of this information, uh, you can hold down your control key, you can see the catalog, folders, collections. Um, I just want to see the folder that it's in. So right now, because I know what catalog I'm in, I opened it up. So while it's bu building the previews, I'll show you where these files are stored and how that looks.